The nightclub is probably one of the most complicated businesses to get right, but also arguably the greatest in GTA Online. So fear not, all will be explained, as in this video, I'm going to show you how to run it. I'll go through how to maximize your daily income, the best ways to fill your warehouse, and of course, the best location. Before we get into it, if you appreciate this video, then please drop it a like and subscribe for the best GTA guides on the internet. So without further ado, let's get to it. There are a total of 10 locations to choose from, all in and around the main city of Los Santos, with the cheapest starting at just over a million, and the most expensive starting at 1.7 million. Personally, I think the best location is this one, as most of your selling missions will usually end up heading north. But location ultimately isn't overly important, as this will only really be relevant when selling, which will not be that often. So you may just want to choose one close to your other businesses that you also use on the regular. But bear in mind that if you choose to change your location at a later date, you will have to repurchase your upgrades. When you first purchase a nightclub, the only option that will make any difference to your income is your storage space, as this will determine how much stock you can hold at any one time. Everything else here is purely cosmetic, but you could be looking at splashing out over $5 million if you max out everything. You can also add up to 3 more 10 car garages at a cost of just over $440,000 for all 3. Once you've purchased a nightclub and done the handful of missions to get your DJ and equipment all together, you will need to spend even more money, as you'll definitely want to buy the equipment upgrade for just over $1.4 million, as this will increase the speed in which goods are accrued. I suggest also buying the staff upgrade for $475,000, as this will reduce the loss of income through the club's popularity. And you should get a security upgrade for $695,000 as this will reduce the likelihood of your club getting raided. The last two are not essential and can be bypassed for now, but they will make life easier. As you can already see, the nightclub is very expensive to get going, but stick with it. Once you have a nightclub, you can now also purchase and store a terabyte inside it. This is one of the best vehicles that you can buy. Not only will it be able to store your Oppressor Mark II, but it can be used as a hub to launch resupply missions for your other businesses, like the hangar, special cargo, import-export, bunker, and biker businesses. You also get exclusive access to some other little missions called client jobs, which can be completed in only a few minutes and pay out around $30,000 each. And of course, you have your warehouse floors where you can produce stock, which we'll get to later. There are two main sources of income for your nightclub. One method is through acquiring goods in your warehouse underground, and the other is daily income through the popularity of your nightclub. In order to keep your nightclub packed full of paying punters, you need to give them a reason to come. You can advertise your club through annoying and tedious popularity missions, or you can get a new DJ. The first time you acquire a new DJ, this will cost you $100,000. This will totally max out your club's popularity. There are a total of four to choose from. There's Hacksaw Jim Duggan, The Pet Shop Boys, Norman Bates, and your mum. Unfortunately, all of them play monotonous garbage. Once you have acquired a DJ, you can swap them in and out at the low cost of just $10,000. But this will only half fill a bar of popularity. But you can keep swapping these DJs back and forth until you fill your popularity bar up, which again, if your popularity is zero, will cost you $100,000. The best method is by going down into your warehouse and accessing the computer here, as you won't get the cutscene each time, a time save if you have to keep swapping them. You can also boost your popularity through either getting a VIP to a nearby hospital or back home. 
Marcel. Not only will this boost your popularity, but you'll also get paid $10,500 for the trouble. The same goes for this drunk guy who needs throwing out. Which will see you bag in $10,000 each time. This is the best option, as not only does it boost your popularity, you also get paid and it takes just seconds. You can try and manipulate this one by entering your club while in passive mode and reloading into your nightclub until you get it. How you doing? That's inconsequential. I'm okay. Just running some errands while I have a little free time on my hands. Hey boss. Just bear in mind that these little activities will not spawn if your popularity is too low to have them go to your club in the first place. The other method involves completing a club promotion. Okay, good to see you're doing something to keep this club running. These are jobs designed for an employee on minimum wage, not for a millionaire or billionaire club owner. So avoid these like the plague. So how much can you actually make? Well, I'm glad you asked. At full popularity, your club will make $50,000 every in-game day, which is the equivalent to 48 minutes. This safe income is more than any other in the game. Each time your popularity drops, so will your income, which is why it's best to pop back now and again just to ensure your club is still bumping. The safe can hold up to $250,000. But it's best to just empty it when you're next there, so you don't run the risk of having it full and therefore unable to have any more cash put in it. The day-to-day -day running of the club is very straightforward, but there is also the warehouse to consider. With the warehouse, you can employ up to 5 members of staff at a total cost of $878,000 who can produce stock to export, but these are all based on what businesses you already own. In order to produce cargo and shipments, you need to own either a hangar or a special cargo warehouse. Sporting goods requires you to own a bunker, South American imports need you to own a coke lockup, pharmaceutical research requires you to own a meth lab, Organic produce means owning a weed farm, printing and copying is linked to the document forgery, and cash creation requires the counterfeit cash factory. Each of these produces stock at different rates and pay out different amounts. Because you are limited to a maximum of 5 members of staff, leave the organic produce and printing and copying well alone, as these won't make you as much money. Of course, owning the other businesses could set you back a massive amount of money, but as long as you own one and it is open for business, even if it is empty, this will allow your staff to start producing. So if you want to, you can just buy the cheapest options, not even spend money on upgrades, and simply use them to feed your nightclub. But this will obviously depend on your status in the game. The cheapest of the options are listed here, totaling just over $5 million, but of course, these will be much, much more if you decide to splash out. In order to maximize your income, you want to sell as soon as your South American imports reaches 10 out of 10 crates produced, simply because these will pay you the most money. This will take a full 20 hours to achieve and will make you just over $1 million when sold if you also have the other four being produced as mentioned before. You'll also notice that you'll have three other options for selling in the special orders, which will give you a little bonus for doing so. The downside is that these mean selling more often, and as GT Online is so packed with other businesses, you will want to do as little work as possible. Before we get on to the vehicles used for selling, there are two other ways to increase your stock. One way is by calling up Johan and requesting more nightclub goods. He'll then call you back with a little mission to complete to bring back one crate of stock. I'm a hey boss! Bitch. Cool, totally! Let me see what we have. You're turning me on! Okay, good. We've got some cargo on the move through town. Nice little shipment. Looks like they're using a removal truck. You don't have the option to choose the type of stock, this will be selected at random, but you will also get $11,500 for the trouble. 
there will then be a 20 minute cool down before you can do it again. The other way to get stock is by completing a business battle. These can be triggered when in a lobby with 3 or more players. Just make sure you have this option available by going to your interactions menu, then preferences, map blip options and then events and set business battles to show. If playing with friends you can manipulate this to get these more often by having everyone hide in all the other events so you will only ever get business battles which will then start every 15 minutes or so. There are a range of business battles that can start, where you can mostly get between 1 or 2 crates, or sometimes if you have the aircraft carrier spawn, many many more if you're quick enough. As for the vehicles used in the seller missions, there are three of differing sizes, which can all be used depending on how much stock you are exporting. Up to 89 crates, you can use the Speedo Custom, 90 to 179 crates and it's the Mule Custom, and for everything else, you'll use the Pounder Custom. With the exception of the Speedo Custom, which comes with your nightclub, these can be purchased from the Warstock Cash and Carry website. You can save money by only buying the Pounder Custom, which will be large enough to carry all amounts of stock. Or if you're not quite rich enough yet, stick with the free speedo. You also have the option to upgrade each vehicle, adding armor and weapons, which are definitely worth getting for selling in those public lobbies for the bonus. The selling missions themselves are quite straightforward and should be done in only about 5 minutes on average. These will always only ever be one selling vehicle, regardless of how much you are shifting. Good news, the buyer has thrown in a cash bonus. Bad news, you gotta get the shipment to them looking pristine. If you get these sold in a full public lobby, then you can get the extra 50% bonus, meaning around $1.5 million each time. Hey, hey, you made the sale. You got the money running through the tills, and in a minute you'll have receipts for everything. Minus the laundering fee, of course. After you've sold, Tony will take his 10% slice of the pie, capped at $100,000. If for any reason the sale doesn't go well and you reload into a new lobby, you will lose a bit of stock and you'll have a 5 minute cooldown before you can try again. That covers everything you need to know about how to run a nightclub in 2024. So if you found this video useful, please drop us a like and subscribe for the best GTA guides on the internet. Here are some other videos you may also enjoy. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.